Hey guys, it's Erica from Erica Marie Plans. Welcome back to my channel. It has been oh, like six months since I've filmed a video. I actually just got done finishing um, a plan with me for September that I will be uploading here. But this is the first video I am um, going to upload in my 12 days of Christmas or 12 days of plan miss is what I'm gonna call it. I know a lot of you guys are doing plan miss. Um, I just cannot commit to doing 25 videos so I'm just gonna do 12 um, I'm starting to film now today is December 1st I don't have work this afternoon so I do have some extra time to go ahead and start filming but I did want to show you guys the spreads that I've been doing while I've been in the process of moving um, a lot of not a lot I think there's six of them I do actually have Plan With Me's filmed for these, but I just don't feel like editing them because they are so old now. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go through them um, just so you guys can kind of see what I've been doing and kind of get like an update on what's been going on the last six months. Um, we are officially back in California. We've been back in California since May and um we have moved into our apartment this is just like a temporary thing right now in this apartment i've never lived in an apartment before um it's definitely a lot different i think um it's not my favorite but it is just like a temporary thing so if you guys are interested in seeing what has been going on with me i think i will be able to do the next six months worth of spreads just to show you um, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just thinking about this. It's not actually six months worth of spreads because I've only planned up until September. So it's from April through September. So kind of like the whole process of moving and getting back into like our routine and stuff. Um, a lot of these script stickers are ones that I made. I was sad I wasn't filming when I opened up my shop, but if you don't know, I did open up my own sticker shop. Um, right now it's kind of on the back burner. It's still up and running so you guys can purchase things um, if you would like. Um, I just don't have a whole lot of time and you'll see why. Actually probably not in this section but I am working two full-time jobs so I'm quite busy along with doing my own sticker shop and trying to do like videos. So I don't really have a lot of time, but I am trying my best right now. So yeah, a lot of these scripts are ones that you can actually purchase in my shop. I do offer customs. Um, it's a font that's similar to this. This was my first option I did, but then I ended up changing it, which I think you guys will see later on too, that I started using um, that font instead. So this first spread I'm showing you is from Murdoch Talks. I cannot remember the name of it. If I do, I may edit it and just put the names like on the bottom or something. Um, but this was like the like whimsical painting. I can't remember what this is called, but this is what it is. Um, let's see what happened this week. It's kind of, I love doing these two, like just going back in my planner. If you don't do that, you should be going back in your planners just to kind of like look back through your memories. Um, so this is for April 12th through the 18th. Um, let's see. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Thinking back on this when I was working with the GEC, um, that was not the best time. I was, I, I hated that job. <laughs> So I'm so glad I'm back working at the store right now. Um, so this is the first day we had to start doing adherence at the GEC, which essentially meant you need to be on the channel that you were scheduled on. So if you were scheduled on phones, you needed to go to that or you else you would get like alerts like every five minutes, like, hey, you're not on your channel, like automatic alerts, which were so annoying because I was the type of person that would never follow my adherence because I did not want to have to do that. Um, sometimes I was just like super anxious and didn't feel like having to talk to guests because sometimes they're not the nicest, which is going to be in any job. So this was the first day we had to do that. Um, let's see on Tuesday, not, I mean, a long day. My days were so long. I felt like, um, what else did I do? Oh, I had the whole day off. I must've called out to this day. Um, or maybe I took the day off. Yes, I did take the day off because I went to go have coffee with my friend Marina. Um, we were friends in high school. We definitely like drifted apart after high school, but we kind of like reconnected. Um, and she actually just had moved to Gilbert. So we met up um, 
Did we meet up in Gilbert? Maybe it was in Chandler we met up. I think she moved to Chandler. Now that I'm thinking about it. But we met up in Chandler and had some coffee. And it was so much fun catching up with her. I hadn't seen her in 10 years. Like, it was crazy. Um, and then I also had to do a, an exchange at Trader Joe's. I did some designing. And then I watched Varsity Blue with Dean. And then on Thursday, um, I ordered my sticker paper this day. I think I was still doing, like, samples to try and figure out what sticker paper I wanted to use. I do only offer clear sticker paper on my shop right now. Um, maybe premium matte in the future, but I wouldn't say any time in like the near future. Um, I also had a meeting this day, had to pay all my bills. And then, let's see, I FaceTime my dad. We watched Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, I was annoyed this day, I don't remember why. Um, let's see, morning coffee. Oh, this was super spontaneous of us. Um, we had to go drop off something um, at a FedEx and when we were driving by we saw this random carnival going on. So this is, like I said, super spontaneous of Dean and I, like we, I don't know. I'm, I, of course I'm a planner. I don't do anything spontaneous, but we decided to go to a carnival. It was pretty freaking expensive, but it was fun. It was definitely for the memories. Um, we had some funnel cake, rode on some rides, and then also bought some stickers that day. Um, Sunday, I guess I've taken, or I took a lot of pictures for my spreads for Instagram. Um, I announced that I was part of the Mary Me Bell PR team, which I'm no longer on the PR team. I am like, ever since moving, I've just had no time to do any like PR stuff um so no longer on that team but it was super fun while it lasted I also made a smoothie had to work late and then Dean and I played some chess so that was for this week the next week this one um I think it's called foodie but it's the art that kittenish Jess kittenish girl Jess um did and this one is actually from Crest Press I really love the way that Maggie did hers um so this is for the week of april 19th through the 25th and um i guess i woke up with a headache this day oh i actually do remember this day um i went and got duncan and i applied for a position um back at home which was really cool so um i we had already known that we we're coming back home it we had like a month because we we're moving end of may and so i saw that a teaching position was opened up um, at the school I had previously worked at. And I was like, perfect, I can just go into my old position. Spoiler, I ended up not getting it. I actually was able to get a higher position as a like site supervisor at another school. It's just like two miles away from my old school I used to work at. So that was really cool. And I'm still in that position right now. So I'm in two full-time positions. Um, but this was the day I did apply. Um, I also oh, had my interview at 11 this day, like right after I applied. Um, Stephanie, oh my God, I miss Stephanie. She um, she called me to set up an interview. Um, and then I think she called me like right after I applied because I had texted her telling her that I wanted the position. Um, so I had my interview on the 20th. Um, I also called out this day. And then, um, what else? Cooked some pasta, Happy Mail, did more designing. I had a meeting at four with my team lead at the GC. I had a doTERRA delivery and we watch um, Synchronic, Syn Synchronotic. I don't know, I don't even remember what movie this is. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, oh, and these um, underlays are actually ones I made. These actually are not offered in shop yet. These were like testers and I just never made like new ones. So if you guys are interested in having the rainbows, I love those type of rainbows, let me know. Um, it was my Willow's birthday this day on the 22nd. I did some foiling and then I went to Kung Fu Tea with Sage. Um, we just kind of had like a catch up day. And then I went to Trader Joe's, had some barbecue pizza for dinner, watched some Pretty Little Liars, and had like a filming night. Um, can you guys see that? Yeah, it's like hard. So I have my tripod up way higher than I did before. Um, 
and I can't see. <laughs> I can't see when I'm filming. So I really have to stand on my tippy toes to barely see like what's in frame. Um, but yeah, that was so much fun hanging out with Sage. I haven't seen her since moving back. Um, but we do keep in touch. I haven't talked to her in probably like a month or two. Um, but I know she's busy with school. I'm just super busy with life. Um, so I will have to reach out to her soon. Um, and then Friday I had a Sephora order. We door dash Gino's, which is a really good pizza place over there. I think it's like a hole in the wall pizza place. Um, but that was a really good. And then this more designing. We watched Stowaway, which was really good as well. And then I watched Pretty Little Liars and 90210. Those two shows were like my go-to during the work. Um, I'd always have 90210 on when I was at work. Um, I still am not done. I think I have like a few episodes left in the last season. So I do want to go back and watch that. And then I also just worked late and did a hair mask. All right, this next week is for April 26th through May 1st. So this was Dean's birthday week. And so I really wanted to use this kit from SPC, which I think is just called Superhero. I could be wrong, but it was like the Marvel DC collab one. Um, yeah, so I'm like very, very out of breath right now. Um, okay, so first thing I marked is that it was Dean's birthday and then I had to stop by Nothing Bun Cakes because I got him a birthday cake that was like Shark's Colors. Um, so that was really cool. I didn't eat any of it. I think he may have eaten it all. <laughs> but I didn't eat any of it and then I went and picked up Chipotle for us for lunch and I got him crumble as well um I think I took off this day oh no I worked but I may have left no it was a long day I was saying I may have left early but I probably didn't um I was just so tired oh because I had to wake up early for work and had to do all these things and it didn't get to take a nap before I'm working so I'm so tired and then I had a long day at work and just went to bed early and then the next day was a rainy day, which we didn't have too many of those in Arizona. Um, I had an interview at 10.15. I think it was like my second interview, I want to say. Because I don't know what that other interview was then. Maybe it was like the second interview. Um, then I made a smoothie. I do remember calling out this day. And then I talked to Gabby. Moving on into Wednesday. Let's see what's under here. So, oh, I wanted to mark that Dean cleaned the house because that was a very rare occasion when he would clean. Um, also called out again. Um, that was something I did very often because my mental health and just being so anxious, I could not work. So I called out, did a post office run. Um, I called or I had to go to CarMax to help Dean with some stuff. I did some voiceovers. And then since I had to work on Dean's birthday, we ended up going out to like lunch slash dinner um, on Wednesday since I did call out. So went to Culinary Dropout. Um, I really miss that place. That place was so good. We went there for my birthday um, for the past two years. So in 2020 when we came to Scottsdale to visit and then obviously this year in 2021 because we were living there and then we went for Dean's birthday. We went to um, this little ice cream shop which was kind of weird. <laughs> It, the ice cream was not good. It tasted like poison. It was not good ice cream. Um, I also had my Sephora delivery, had some cuddle time, and we watched Blacklist. I think we may have started it this day, and I could be wrong. I could have marked it prior. Um, don't watch it very much now, but we were watching it quite a bit during this time. Um, Thursday was payday. I only worked a half a day. I took a nap, did some foiling, picked up some sushi for dinner. And then just continued to watch Pretty Little Liars and then um, the Amanda Knox um, film. I really love that case. It's a very popular case. Um, and her documentary is on um, Netflix. I don't know if it's still on there, but it was on there during that time. And then um, I actually really like um, The Mile Higher, their podcast. They did an amazing job on, their, on um, Meredith and Amanda's case. Okay, Friday 
watch more pretty little liars um this day i also i think i wasn't working on friday and saturday during this time so i did have the day off i went to a, a boba place called it with sage and joe from ice cream joe that was so fun meeting her um and then uh, obviously i've met sage before but it was fun to like be able to kind of like hang out us three together before leaving to come back home um so that was really nice and then i actually had to like step out like halfway through or hang out um because i got a call saying i got the job so that was really exciting and then um joe and i actually went to the container store together to get some sticker organization so that was really nice um and then i came home and facetimed my dad um, my mink was delivered this day. Prior to this, I was foiling just on a laminating machine, which worked, but it wasn't going to be good enough to like sell the stickers because the foil wasn't sticking to it enough. So I did splurge and get a mink, mink uh, machine. So far, it's been great. Knock on wood. Um, haven't had any problems with it, but I know there are a lot of, um, shop owners I do have problems with minks so so far so good also organized my stickers and had a late night Saturday had the day off um is this left oh I think it might oh it does okay so I had to make my doTERRA order this day because it was the f last of the month or maybe I got delivery no I must have ordered one okay so made a doTERRA, doTERRA delivery um let's see Dean made coffee this morning and then I had to start emailing um, my store manager, my previous store manager, to let her know, like, hey, I need to get my transfer all ready to start coming back to the store and see if there's a position open, which luckily there was. So I was able to transfer back to the store. Um, so that made me just so much happier. <laughs> I'm still at the store. I actually did get a promotion at the store. Um, so I'm now I'm like in a leadership type position, which is really cool to have the opportunity to do that. Um, so I'll get more into that once we get into those plans, which won't even happen until like September. Um, we watched the movie called Nobody. I forget the actor's name, but he's in um, the Better Call Saul series, that main actor. That was actually really, really good. And then we watched Without Remorse. I did some pre-planning, um, designed. We scheduled our UPAC this day so that we could make sure it was going to be here because we knew we were leaving in about 20 days. And then how to take Lala to the vet. This freaking dog. <laughs> Even right now, she's hurt. She hurt herself again, like in actual time. Today's December 1st. Um, she's been hurt since we moved into this apartment, so about two weeks now. Um, and it's the same injury she had prior with her like spine and stuff. This one was because she went outside and decided to make friends with a bug who apparently just bit her face and her face was swollen, like so large. I didn't take any photos because I think we we're both freaking out, but I was like, okay, because I'm like, she's fine. I'm that type of person who's like, she's fine. We'll figure it out. Like, she's not going to die. But <laughs> Dean's very protective. I'm just, like, very chill about things. Even this time around, I'm just, like, very chill. Yes, she's crying. Yes, she's uncomfortable. She's going to be fine, though. Just give her her medication. So we had to rush her to the emergency vet. And a lot of money later, we came home. And they just gave her Benadryl, which I told him to do in the beginning. But that's in the past. So <laughs> nothing we can do about it now. And then um, Sunday... We, I slept in because it was just a crazy night. Um, I watched Selena this day. I think I was watching season one um, just to like catch up because it was coming out again, season two or part two. And then it was just a long day. Had a smoothie, Pretty Little Liars. And then I finished my sticker organization with those bins I bought from um, the container store, which I'm actually going to show you really quick. Okay, so this is how I organize my stickers. Um, it's all in alphabetical order. It's kind of like how Andrea does it, but I did get the, like the taller ones. Um, but yeah, there's like no, I have some room and I just bought a bunch of stickers from Black Friday. So oh my God, I'm hoping they fit. I did buy this one and I bought like a bigger, shorter one. It's like this big for my foil stickers, which I need to make more dividers for. And... I think that's it. Oh yeah, my foil, my foil stickers and my um, 
like bigger character sticker sheets like the pumpkin paper coat ones so yeah so that is for april 26th through may 1st this is for cinco de mayo it's a bit overwhelming <laughs> now that i look at it i actually did make this myself which is pretty cool um underlays i did make myself these ones i also made myself i just did like stars because i thought it matched um, I did a little cacti on here and like taco header overlays, which are pretty cool. Um, I was like going all in because I was like messing around with some stuff to try and figure out how to design. So um, this is for May 3rd through the 9th. Um, first thing I marked is that took a nap. Had to email our renters, letting them know. I don't know, but. I had to do that. Also had a meeting, dinner for breakfast, and then I don't know why we were worried. Or maybe I was just worried. Not quite sure. Um, I also meal prepped this day. Um, I don't know. Oh, I got gifts. Oh, I think it was teacher appreciation um, day, which is, I don't think they're all the same because I don't remember getting like gifts in May um, at the school I work at now in California, but this day it was so we got so many gifts um i did call out this day i had to email b again um just to like start getting stuff ready for the transition over did some filming um and then it was cinco de mayo what else oh i had to call um my hr lady for the school to just get everything all set for that as well had to go to home depot to um like get boxes to start packing because we were leaving now in 15 days um, and then I also got Chipotle and then on Wednesday I had to work late um, I had some afternoon coffee um, FaceTime my dad and then we had <laughs> we had tuna pasta I always made fun of Dean because I thought tuna pasta was disgusting the way he'd always talk about it but we like started to not have anything in the house because I mean, sure, we were leaving in like two weeks, but I didn't want to like buy a whole bunch of groceries. So we would just buy literally the bare minimum or eat all of our stuff first and then get groceries. All we had was tuna and pasta. And Dean's like, I love tuna pasta. And like, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> so <laughs> he made it. And I think I was just so hungry at that time. I just ate it and it was delicious. And now I love tuna pasta. So I had tuna pasta for the first day that day. And then we watched I Love You Man. And then on Friday, um, I had a smoothie. We started packing, or actually, sorry, I started packing. Dean didn't start packing until the day before we left. It was so stressful. Um, I made chicken adobo, 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 and then I watched Selena um, part one. It must have been part one, because I know I watched part two all in one day. No, this must have been part two, right? Yes, because I called out this day. Start packing. Yes, I watched part two. I watched the whole thing in one day. And I watched on the previous day, or the previous time I watched it, I watched part one all in one day as well. Oh, cried my eyes out. I don't want to have to watch it again because it was so sad. But I love Selena so much. Um, also had to do some car maintenance this day. Just had to like change my oil, um, do my tire rotation. Um, I just wanted to like get a head start on getting everything ready before the long drive home and then um after that i did go to doordash or no i did go oh that's what i had to do i had to update my car there's a car update and so i had to go to um hyundai and sit there for like three hours so i door dashed some black rock coffee because i had like a credit I usually would never DoorDash coffee because it's expensive to DoorDash coffee, I feel like. Like you're paying for like the fees and all of that and it's more expensive than actual coffee. And then I went to Trader Joe's and then we started 24 this day. And then on the 9th, I had some morning coffee. Um, and then backache and 24. Oh, I didn't mention where this is from. This is from SPC. This is a super old kit. Um, I want to say it's like two or three years old now. Oh my god, these are stuck. So that is this one. And then I'm going to go back to this one. This one was also from SVC. I think I said this one. But yeah, 
All right, so let's move on to the next week. Okay, I had to go take a quick break really quick. Okay, so this week, oh my God, this is what I mean. I hate living in an apartment because our neighbor is so loud and it's just one older man. <laughs> that's us. So that's gonna be a problem in all my videos. I apologize now. Okay, I'm just gonna edit that out. All right, so called out. <laughs> What else is new? Um, got some gas this day. Also had some brunch and some drinks. I think I had like mimosas. We had some champagne left over, probably from Dean's birthday that we just needed to finish because we didn't want to go to waste. So I think I just drank the whole thing. Um, and then we had to clean out our fridge, which was pretty disgusting. And then I watched The Circle this day. I'm pretty sure I did some filming too, um, but I don't think I marked it on here. Um, I had some morning coffee. I had to call the cleaners and the renters. Um, I Oh, okay. I think this was because they did it weird where they still made you pay the full month even though you weren't staying the full month and they'll reimburse you later, which doesn't make sense because it's longer than what your lease is. But I was like, all right, well, I'm not paying that whole thing. I'm just going to do the prorated like rates that we should be paying. So I ended up figuring out the math because they are like, oh yeah, we don't know how to do that. And I'm like what do you mean so i ended up figuring out i knew exactly how much we had to pay and i told them all right this is what i'm paying so that was like a whole ordeal that i had to figure out um oh my god and then this day <laughs> poor pensy he ate way too much food so i fed him before i went to work so i fed him at like 6 30 in the morning and then dean usually doesn't wake up before i come home from work I would come home at around like 10 o'clock so he would still be asleep but I guess he woke up super early this day and didn't know that he was fed I didn't bother telling him because I knew he wasn't going to be awake but I was wrong so Dean fed him again and then um Lala also ate but she didn't eat all her food she barely ate any that day and so Pence decided to eat her food as well so in the last like four hours he had three huge servings of food he felt awful he was he was so bloated he was like groaning because he was so uncomfortable he couldn't like get comfortable he kept moving around and he was just like farting <laughs> super bad um so this poor dog just over ate so i didn't feed him for two days i was like i'm sorry like you were ate your portions for the next two days so i didn't feed him for a while he's fine now um and then i also made corn dip and it was just a long day at work this day was just a crazy day at work um at the school also got some duncan from one of the teachers at the school this day um i had the day off i think i had one of my like value days i could have I, I took um i did some packing watched the circle and then we door dash oreganos for the last time and then i was having some silhouette problems and at 24 is um we watched 24 this day the silhouette problems, I knew what the problem was because I had heard a lot of shop owners talking about it, like with the update of silhouette, how it won't print everything correctly. So I reached out um, to Lindsay from Lindsay Morgan Plans because I know she had talked about it in her video and I couldn't remember what the fix was. So I messaged her on Instagram and she helped me out. I just had to like downgrade my um, silhouette software for it to work. So yeah i don't i don't understand why silhouette does that um thursday was payday had to get more gas and then we had a little lunch date i think we just had a lunch date at home to be honest um we had to pay our srp this day which is essentially our electric um and then i had a doctor's appointment what did, oh i just had to go to do like my physical for the school, just your normal physical before start before you start to work. So I had to go do that. Luckily, there was um, the company that my work goes through. There was a location in Arizona as well that I could have gone to or that I did go to where they were able to just pay for it so I didn't have to pay out of pocket. Um, I also did my, I got my nails done that day which I had like my rainbow French gel the the people there were so weird they did not do a great job i felt like um did some laundry watched 24 it was another filming day um watched the circle did some designing i facetimed my cousins we had breakfast for dinner and i made some moscow mules the next day saturday 
had the day off so i spent it filming it was a pj day didn't get out of my pajamas um we had some cuddle time we watched the circle and then we packed the kitchen and then last but not least on sunday i called out this day i think um so i think this was like technically my last day at work so i think i called out until i was done working because i was just kind of over it um i called out had some brunch we did or i did some filming watch bridgerton um i still have not watched it i only watched it this day and i think i have two episodes left it's now december 1st and i still have not finished it um i did a hair mask and i had chipotle for dinner so this kit was from svc i did get in the glitch sale um so i had to buy the header separately but i could not find any glitches in this this kit had always been on my list too to purchase and i just never did i was just waiting for the next next glitch sale and i got my hands on it so that is that kit this one is a mystery kit from spc i don't recall what month it is um but this was the week that we finally moved and i was so happy actually okay i'm actually lying i was not happy during this week it was the most stressful week and i don't think i've been the most stressed in my life other than this week because everything that could have gone wrong went wrong so this is actually gonna be the last one i'm gonna do the next i'm gonna do this in two parts and this will just be kind of like an update on what's been going on since i've been back so this is the last week I will do, like I said, I think I am now saying it like three times. So this is in hollow, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but first thing I'm marking is that I had my morning coffee. I scheduled the landscapers, finally. <sighs> I felt like we were being cheated. They charged us so much for landscaping, but again, we've, we, are, it was a mess, I'm not gonna lie. Our backyard, front yard was a mess. So they charged us, I, I think I want to say it's like $400 and it wasn't just one landscaper. Like we would get quotes from like different people and they all said about $400, $350, $300 to $400. There was one guy that said he would do it for $80 and he ended up ghosting us and I was like, damn it. <laughs> so we were kind of screwed. We had to do them because we were moving on Wednesday. So it had to be done. Um, so we just did it. And he did an okay job. Um, we had brunch this day. I called out again. Went to Home Depot because realized we didn't have enough boxes. And then we went to... Actually, we both went to Home Depot together. Um, I didn't go by myself this time. Um, and then after we got Subway and Crumble. And then I attempted to do my taxes. Um, this was my um, Arizona state taxes. <sighs> I still have not done them. <laughs> um, I don't owe anything, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but for some reason, TurboTax would not let me do it, and my dad can't figure it out, and I'm not gonna hire someone to do it, so I'm just gonna let it, just let it be. Um, and then we watched 24. Tuesday, called out again. Um, I finished all my plan with me's. I was officially caught up on my plan with me's this day. Um, so I had planned all the way up until here because this actually I did like once I got home but I had officially caught up on all my plan with me's and I couldn't film anymore because this week technically wasn't done yet we did some late night packing and I got um Sonic DoorDash and Sonic because nothing else was open Dean was asleep and I was by myself just packing the rest of the house this was our last day in our house um we had to give Lala a bath and then I was so irritated this day um i really can't tell you why other than like dean was probably just making me mad because he wasn't packing and i was packing up the whole house um packed all day did a safe way safe way run that day as well just to get like waters for our trip and just like little snacks and stuff and then i stopped at starbucks since there is a starbucks and safeway and then we picked up sushi to have for dinner and then um we were supposed this is what the plan was this was supposed to be like our last day packing and like packing everything in the truck but dean decided to do other things <laughs> i physically cannot lift the boxes so dean had to do it but he didn't want to do it so I was so pissed off. I think that's why I was so irritated. 
Um, so his plan was like, we'll just wake up super early the next day and just get it all done and we'll leave. And I was like, oh, okay, fine, fine. Cause I can't change his, I can't change his mind. So I was like, all right, well, we're going to bed super early so that we can finish packing everything in the morning and we can just get going. So I went to bed early, woke up the next day at 6 a.m. to like finish everything, go outside and see that our U-Haul has been locked. Someone, I don't know if it was one of our neighbors, our neighbors are so nice, so maybe they locked it thinking that um, they were trying to help us. <laughs> it did not. They don't give us a key to unlock it. So once it's locked, it's locked. So I was livid. I was pissed off. I was yelling. I was, I, I, I don't get like that ever. But I was so mad because I just wanted to get out of this freaking house. Um, so we had to call UPAC to come over to unlock it for us. It took them forever to get over there. And I was just so mad. I ended up just leaving the house because I knew I was just going to be screaming at Dean because I was going to blame it all on him because I wanted everything done this day. And he had to move it to this day and someone had to lock it. So I just left, went to go get Duncan, had to do a USP or UPS drop off anyway. And then I just came home and it was okay. I was okay. Um, and then this day as well, I didn't think I put it on here, but, um, also this day was the day Dean decided to finally pack his stuff. The, the day we were going to leave, he decided to finally pack his stuff. So, um, Dean also packed. Um, we also had to bathe the pants twice. I bathed him the first time and then he decided to go run out in the dirt while he was still wet. <laughs> so I had to bathe him again. This whole thing was a mess this whole week. I like hate reliving this week. Um, I picked up sushi again for dinner because I just wanted something quick and easy. I just washed my hair and then we loaded the U-Haul, but not very much because the next day, so technically we were already supposed to be home this day. This day we still were not home. We were still at our house in Arizona. Woke up early, we finished packing the U-Haul. Um, it took all day. We didn't leave Arizona until like five o'clock in that um, evening. So yeah, we finished packing this day. The cleaners also came to clean the house. Um, at five o'clock, we were both exhausted. Dean was more exhausted because he had to do all the heavy lifting. I really couldn't do much. Um, but we stopped by Black Rock Coffee one last time before heading home. Got some dinner at Jersey Mike's, got some gas, big road trip, got some Chick-fil-A, and we were, excuse me, we were heading home. It We got home at 5 a.m. the next day on the 22nd, when we were supposed to be home on the 20th. We got home on the 22nd. I slept in this day. I think I slept until like 2 or 3. Um, had some family time. I washed my hair because I felt disgusting after being in the car unpacked a little bit just like my little duffel I brought and this duffel I just pack things that were gonna last us or last me for like a month or two because that's we were only expecting to live with our parents for like a month or two but it ended up being like six months so I lived out of a duffel this whole entire time um I played the sims because I just wanted to do nothing that day and then I had a YouTube binge <laughs> and then the last day Sunday slept in played the sims again I forgot to make a script there Relax. I had a Pete's coffee date with Gabby. Haven't had one with her in a long time because I've been so busy, but we did this for a couple weeks and I just told her the whole moving saga that just took place. Um, I had to call the bank because I had like fraudulent charges on my card, so I had to get that all situated. It was actually really easy to get my money back and just get a new card. Um, I took a nap when I got home, had family dinner, and I FaceTimed my cousins that day. So yeah. This is the first part of this um, kind of going over my life update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow with part two. Um, and then after that, you guys will start getting some plan with me's until Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Everyone that has stayed subscribed, thank you so much. And just thank you for your patience while I try to get my life all situated. It has been three months since I posted a video, but like I said, it's been about six months since I filmed a video. So I'm a little rusty on this. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. I will see you guys tomorrow for part two. All right, bye guys.